VR is awesome. Robots are also awesome. VR controlled robots, totally epic. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. This is Chang Lu, the founder of Extend Robotics. He recently appeared in an episode of Dragon's Den here in the UK, pitching his VR software, which enables humans to effectively control robots using virtual reality. From this pitch, he was able to successfully secure £150,000 in investment from Peter Jones. And when I saw this episode, it got me really excited. You see, I'm no stranger to VR-controlled robots. In fact, I was able to create the world's first sandwich, remotely made using virtual reality, and an adorable robot called Ricci. But the issue with Ricci was that the video feed from his eyes was limited to 2D, which made judging depth in the headset extremely difficult. And that's where Chang and Extend Robotics come in. They use an Intel RealSense camera, which provides a 3D volumetric capture, which is streamed to the VR headset with low latency. This combined with the native Quest 2 app should make controlling a robot using VR much more intuitive and accurate. So to put this to the test, Chang invited me to remotely take control of his robot from my house, which is over 80 miles away from his location. And we came up with three fun challenges with increasing difficulty to see if this tech is viable today or just a future pipe dream. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video and let's dive in. So to take control of the robot arm, all I need to do is click on the grip button on the Quest controller. And now I'm actually controlling <laughs> the robot in real time. And to squeeze the little robot pincers is just a, a trigger press. So it's very intuitive. And I'm just going to drop it on the stack here. And the cool thing is I can kind of rotate the claw around by rotating the controller. Let's pick up the next one. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, I have to say, like, bearing in mind this is the first time I've ever tried this. Um, yeah, I'm finding it very, very easy. And like I say, very intuitive as well. It feels very natural, in fact. But yeah, very cool. Let's see if I can do something a bit more advanced. Maybe if I can stack this brick on its side. Do you reckon I could do that? Probably not. Uh, well, oh, okay. You might be able to. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's really test this. Let's see if I can balance another brick on top of that. That will be a real, real test. Yeah. Uh, oh, almost. Okay. <laughs> I just want to show what it looks like from the other angle because you can actually walk around this. So if I move around in my play space, you can actually see, you know, the fact that it's kind of like a volumetric capture here. It's a 3D image that's being sent to the headset, although I can't see the back of it because the camera is obviously around here somewhere, but it does give that 3D sense of depth that is required for those fine motor skills when controlling this arm. You want to pour a beer? Oh, I can't believe you're trusting me with a drink. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'll, do, I'll take it really nice and slow. It's quite an expensive bit of kit. Cheng, how much is this this robot cost? Uh, it's about 10,000. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't want to break your expensive robot, so I'm going to I'm going to take it very carefully. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, nice. Thanks for the drink, Mike. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really hard. Well, let's see how many how many lives it takes me to uh, to finish it. I'm optimistic. I think I can do this in less than less than three lives. Uh, you uh, awesome. you have to push in a bit in. Okay, a bit in. Oh no. Are you sure you are having a trial run, Mike? <laughs> I'm concentrating so hard now. Oh, okay. That's one one life. I'm actually ho I'm actually holding my breath right now. Oh. Okay. You're very close. Oh no! I mean, even even a human doing it physically, it's, it's still quite quite hard. <laughs> it is very very challenging, very challenging. I think as well, you you've got to be aware of like the angle of the pen, the angle of the arm, the angle of the the, the puzzle. <laughs> Once you make one mistake, then then you kind of lose it. It's like I'm like hyper focused right now. 
board itself, you know, the foam itself and all. <laughs> this this is the test that you should have shown on Dragon's Den, Chang. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a five hour recording. <laughs> I've got like a I've got like a sore arm now where I was like tensing so much to try and keep my arm still. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And it's moments like this that make me so grateful to be in a position to try some of these unusual VR use cases. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As you saw from the video, this tech works impressively well, even in its infancy. If you think about how robots are controlled now with joysticks and buttons, using VR with natural arm movements and gripping gestures is much more intuitive. To make the experience even better, Chang is currently working on adding an additional RealSense camera to the setup, which would make the 3D stream more complete and accurate in the future. It blows my mind to think what this technology might lead to in say 10 to 20 years time. Chang seems to think we're headed for a future where robots will mostly work autonomously without human input, but sees the need for a human to log in and remotely control a robot when required, and he feels that VR is the best medium to do this. This kind of tech could do a lot of good in the world in that it could replace the need for humans to be put in dangerous situations like fire and rescue, for example or it could potentially allow a skilled person to work remotely. Just imagine a highly trained surgeon operating on a patient from the other side of the world. It's still very, very early days for this kind of stuff, but please let me know what you all think and how you see this technology being used in the future in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you all think of this. If you enjoy these kind of videos, something a little bit different on the channel aside from VR gaming, then please let me know by leaving a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you all on the next one. Cheers.